Hello everybody, welcome to MNB World Talk Show's next episode. We are celebrating International Children's Day in Mongolia today. And in our studio, a very talented, a very interesting young man has arrived. He wants to become a programmer in the future. So this young man's name is Thirin Thaug Narambatr, who is a student at sixth grade from Sand Secondary School. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. I just uh, told our audience about you want to become a programmer in the future. Why? Do you, I mean, your parents are both engineers. Yes. And uh, you want to become a programmer in addition to that. Why did you want to become a programmer? Because it seems interesting to me mm -hmm. and um, in the future, all the jobs are going to need some sort of programming. Well, okay, we have prepared uh, your <coughs> introduction, your life experience, okay? Yeah. With, with, with some photos <laughs> and, you know, with some sentences, okay? So let's take a look at his resume. You have a big family. Yeah. Huh? So tell us <coughs> about your parents. Where do they work? Um, my dad works in, at a as a main engineer mm -hmm. at Netcom. Netcom. Yeah. I see. And how about your mother? I, my mother runs a kindergarten. Mm -hmm. So she works with uh, children. Yeah. Day to day. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't have to pick up my little sister from kindergarten. Ah, so your <laughs> little sisters, they, all, uh, they both go to the kindergarten, she runs? No, mm. one goes to school. One near, goes to school? Near the kindergarten. Mm -hmm. How old is she? Nine. Nine. She turned nine uh -huh. last month. Is it sometimes very hard to be a brother? Because when I was young, I mean, my parents used to always speak of me, because you're the brother, you have to do this and that, and then, you know, always scold me and not my younger brother. Does that happen to you? Um, no, it's the oh, opposite. <laughs> it's the opposite? Yeah. Really? Because I'm the best kid in our family. Oh, my, okay. My, I'm good at every single class. I'm good at most of my classes. Okay. And my youngest sister mm -hmm. is a child, so she. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, your youngest. House. How old is she? She's turning four. Turning four. This uh, this August. Four years, nine years, and you are twelve years old. Yes. Twelve, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What makes your parents happy, from your perspective? I think they're happy of us achieving goals. Oh, yeah? Like mm -hmm. getting straight A's or and, and cleaning the house while they're away. Oh. Because their jobs are very stressful. Mm -hmm. And then w when they come, it, come home and see the house all clean, uh -huh. uh -huh. they are very happy. Uh -huh. And they give you some... Uh, Compensation, like well, a kiss, kiss on your cheek <laughs> from your mother. No, like a hug or hug, mm. or just like what a smart boy. <laughs> so I heard that you wake up really early. Yes. Tell us about it. Why do you wake up early? 
I don't know. I don't. I never put put an alarm. I never did. Mm -hmm. But just one day, I just started waking up really early. Okay, and then on the summer, it's really often because mm -hmm. I wake up and like oh, the sun's out. Uh -huh. I'm gonna be. This it's probably uh -huh. a day soon. It's probably uh -huh. midday soon. So I pick up my watch and mm -hmm. it's like oh. It's 5.30 a.m. 5.30 a.m., really? <laughs> what do you do when everybody's asleep on like well, I, Saturdays and Sundays? Uh, I get up, I get up and uh -huh. just go to the, and drink water and then just lay on the couch. <laughs> lay on the couch? Watch TV? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you watch uh, YouTube often? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes? Yeah, but now it's, mm -hmm. I'm not watching that often because of, Tests and uh -huh. exams. Exams. You have to prepare for them, right? Yeah. Okay. Our team uh, went uh, visited your home, right? And yes. Uh, took some <coughs> footage. Yeah. So uh, let's show it to our audience, shall we? Yeah. Okay. This is him playing with his sibling. These are my cubes. I can solve from two by twos to three to five by fives, and then a, and then this. This is the easiest cube to solve out of these. This is a mirror cube. It's like the three by three, but they don't have different colors. They just have different shapes. So instead of Solving them by the color, you solve them by shapes. My favorite books to read are the Harry Potter books. My favorite one is Prisoner of Azkaban, where Harry found, finds out that he has a godfather. And then, and then in that book, he has he gets his best defense against the dark arts teacher who is his godfather's and his father's friend i also made this no, for about a month i did this with my sister this is mine and that's my sister's um, making these are very simple but to but it takes a while to explain Wow, you have a very cute little sister. Yeah. Uh huh. Do you love her? Yeah, but sometimes uh -huh. she's like really annoying and like takes my stuff, mm -hmm. loses it. And when I ask her, where are my things? She's like, I don't know. <laughs> and what do you do? Do you get angry? I like, uh -huh. and I just go looking mm -hmm. for hours uh -huh. and, do and you then and then I finally find it, and then see my little sister is drawn on it. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> yeah, like I lost my schedule, uh -huh. my school schedule, and they're like, "Where, where is it? Uh -huh. I need to prepare for tomorrow." Uh -huh. And then I find it in my little sister's box of things, uh -huh. and then when I pick it up. It's like scratched on. Scratched on? By, oh, man. By you have colored pencil. <laughs> by colored pencil. And then you have to redo it. Yeah. Or you just keep it with that scratched <laughs> on. I think huh? I kept it. Uh -huh. there, there were two. Uh -huh. I keep two because of emergencies. Uh -huh. like uh, uh, so because of that, if that happens, I'll take uh, yeah, the another one out. There's a special place in my... Uh, backpack where I can put 
the schedule in. Mm -hmm. I put the schedule at the back and put the clean schedule in the front. Mm. So they can't see it. Okay, she cannot find it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's good. But sometimes it falls off when I try to open it. Mm -hmm. Like, like yeah, uh, when I'm rushing, mm -hmm. it just falls off like. <laughs> Man. Wow. And it's really colorful, so. Uh -huh. Once it's through naturally, like, eh, this uh -huh. goes away. Mm -hmm. You have studied, and you are studying now at Nest Academy yeah. for uh, to learn programming, right? Yes. Tell us about your experience. Well, the mouse is, well, the keyboard is really small. Really? Well, not like, the buttons, the keys aren't small, just mm -hmm. that. Uh, the number pad isn't there. Number pad isn't there. Yeah, it's at the next Nest Academy. Yeah. Yeah. So the the keyboard we use is different uh, than the Nest Academy's keyboard. Yeah. According to your parents and to our study about you. Yeah. You have many <coughs> hobbies. Yeah. You like swimming. Yes. You go to swimming. You like basketball. Yeah. And you ride horse as well? Yeah, when I go to the countryside. Mm -hmm. And you study Chinese, right? How many uh, characters do you know? They're called Han... Han... Hans. Hans, right? Yeah. Yes. Um, How many of them you know? Now? Well, we're on the seventh... On the, we're on the seventh chapter on the second book. Okay. And each chapter has 15 new... Hands. Hands. Characters. You can say. Yeah, in characters. Uh -huh. So 15 multiplied by 7. That's like. Uh, okay, now I'm going to see your math. <laughs> what? <Yeah>. Okay, <laughs> 7 <laughs> times 15. 15, 7. 105. 105 plus the, the previous book, which had 6, six chapters, and then mm -hmm. each chapter had. Uh, Ten, mm -hmm. ten or approximately eight, so mm -hmm. forty-eight. So uh, one hundred and fifty like something. Hundred and hundred and fifty something something. <laughs> yeah. Characters. Wow. I'm learning Mongolian, Mongolian writing, English, and Chinese. Since I was born, my mother said I was very gifted at languages. She always wanted to learn other languages when she was young. On September, we started learning Mongolian writing. And right now, we have learned all the letters. And soon, we're going to take our Mongolian test. I really like it because it's different than other languages in that it's vertical. I also like it because our ancestors used this language when they were a thousand years ago. Our class has 30 kids. One kid I don't really like. Every single one of our classmates are good at at least one thing. <laughs> Hotlogos, Arum, Kilogram, Jinte, Tom Shawoyum, Run Shawona, Gasso, his birthday back, Nokusne, Ogium, Kung to Tung it, Tir, Tagas, Hurutung, Kisan, Kit Sirkshik, Bot, Okay, how about swimming? Where do you swim? Uh, Bayangol. Bayangol swimming pool? Yeah. With whom? Uh, my father. Your father takes you? Oh. Yeah. Your father swims there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why do you like swimming? Like, when, when do you sleep mostly? Sw sw <laughs> Did I say just sleep? <laughs> swim. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. When do I swim? Uh -huh. um, we made a schedule, but because I was sick, I had to stop for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. And then I got my vaccine to stop. Ah, Again, uh -huh. and then I hadn't haven't gone for a couple for a while, mm 
Mm -hmm. I usually went there every Tuesday, Thursday. Yeah. Tuesday, Thursdays. Yeah. Okay. Another hobby. Is it a hobby or is it something you just like to play? The basketball. Yeah. I like to play. You like to play? Yeah. Are you good? <coughs> yeah. Be honest. Yeah. Ah, uh, don't show off. I'm like <laughs> uh -huh. average. You like average? Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm not the best mm -hmm. and I'm not the worst. So whom do you play with? Your classmates? Um, no, I go to a special place. Mm -hmm. But our our school teaches it as well. <coughs> mm -hmm. But you prefer the other special <coughs> place? No, I, for my class because mm -hmm. they're nice to me. <laughs> They're nice to you. So at the other place, the training center is not, the guys not nice to you? No, the, the kids aren't nice. Kids aren't nice. What do you mean? Well, they will mock my, mock my name. How they mock your name? Sir in talk. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's what they say. Yeah. Okay. How do you get back? Like. Oh. Shut up! Shut up! Come on! <laughs> I told our audience that you ride horses as well yes. when you go to the countryside. Mm -hmm. So where do you go usually? Your I grandparents usually go or? to Bolgong mm -hmm. and uh, on uh, summer I go to my grandparents mm -hmm. because on the winter and autumn uh, it would be too cold and mm -hmm. it really it snows a lot there so it would be really slippery, mm -hmm. so I go there every su every summer mm -hmm. to ride horses. To your to your grandparents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you still live in Bulga? No, they live somewhere else. Somewhere else. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, your your family has horses. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at a very short video about him riding horse in the countryside of Mongolia. We go to the countryside at least once a season. At the most, we go to the countryside 15 or 20 days a month. I miss the fresh air and the open field because there's a lot of us in our family and when we're all in our apartment, there's like one room for each person. While in here, there's a lot of places for each person. I was eight years old when I first rode my horse. I rode it when uh, in Bolgang. Um, I remember when I was getting on the horse, I was a bit scared because I was afraid of heights. And then my father and I went around a really big fence. Uh, it was a long trip. I remember I said that the horse is a slow poke. <laughs> when I ride a horse, I... Um, I feel like I'm really high. It's cool. I like sheep the most because uh, the babies are really cute. It's maturating. I'm going to walk to the Bodosrlan <laughs> Uh, in my opinion, um, we do it because we have to, or else um, air will get polluted and there won't be any trees to make the air fresh. Wow, you have uh, 
quite a father and a brother. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell us about your friends. Well, I have two groups of friends. Mm -hmm. One is smart. Both of them are smart. Okay. It's not in the, in a, it's not in the same way. You I have one group of friends. With five people. Oh, five, five guys. Five guys, including okay. me. Including you. They're all smart in a class, in a school way. They're okay. All smart at school. Like uh, smart at uh, classes. Classes. Yeah. And they do their homework Especially properly. math. Especially math. Yeah, ah. they go to a, an Olympiad training mm -hmm. where they go to Olympiads. Mm -hmm. I think they all have like over 50 medals. 50 medals? Are you yeah. kidding me? They started from first grade to here. Mm -hmm. I think it's near 100 now, maybe mm -hmm. more. How many medals do you have? Three. <laughs> Three? Yeah. And there's a guy who got <laughs> 50 medals. Yeah, more than 50. More than 50 medals. Wow, that's so Because cool. I only go, went to the Olympiad mm -hmm. training when I was first, when I was, when I was in the first grade. And you said two group of friends. One yeah, is group is smart. I mean, you can uh, tell, tell your friends' names and say hi. Oh. They will watch it, of course. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so, to, to that camera. Okay. Yes. Say now, hello. Uh-huh. 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 Happy Children's Day. Happy Children's Day. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the second group. Okay, they're all what smart they? in a talent way. Talent way? Yeah. I see, like in culture, like music, like singing, uh, dancing. One is uh, very good at pianos. Piano, yeah. okay. The other two, mm -hmm. well, I had, mm -hmm. they were really good at um, drawing. Drawing? And I've actually seen one of their drawings. Uh -huh. It's amazing. Good. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. There's a math book uh -huh. that has a dragon on it. Okay. Like just a simple dragon. Mm -hmm. And then one of the two mm -hmm. drew an amazing dragon on it. Like better dragon than the original one on the book? Is yeah. Okay. And drew it on paper and then glued it on the book. <laughs> oh, wow. And, this, and he's That's one of those creative. sits behind me. Okay. And then I, I always go back and, oh my God. Uh-huh. It's like very good. Very good. So he drew like better dragon than the book and put it on the bad dragon painting. Yeah. Wow. That's very creative actually. They're twins, so. Twins. Mm -hmm. I've actually been their uh, birthday. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So they're creative ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, say hi to your creative ones. How can we like, you know, skip them? Tell their names and say okay. hi. They will watch it. Hello, Batoir Hosker Tosvarsa. Happy Children's Day, also. Yeah, and say like, let's have fun <laughs> tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you guys have fun? Well, when when you when you say fun, like for your friends like how do you guys have fun um we just after class every after each class we just um talk mm -hmm. about funny stuff funny that we stuff. Th thought through the class mm -hmm. and then <laughs> we all laugh okay, they're all boys they're all boys do you have girlfriends <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> friend girls Oh, <laughs> what did I say? Girlfriends <laughs> and friend girls. What's the difference? I didn't know. I mean, what's the difference between friend girls and girlfriends? Tell me. <laughs> girlfriends uh -huh. are girls that you date with. Okay. And then friend girls are just normal friends. Like that normal. happens to be a girl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so do you have friend girls? Yes, one. One, only one. Yeah. Oh, she might be might become your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> she knows English. Huh? She knows English well. Okay. So she'll know. Mm -hmm. Why don't you become friends with her? Because we both have the same interests. Mm -hmm. 
like English and. Okay. She's mm -hmm. good at English? Yes. What's her name? Tilmuk. Hey, Tilmuk. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> okay, you, t you say hi to her. Oh, hi, Tilmuk. Love Happy you, children. my friend. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that. I mean, <laughs> love is in di uh, many different ways, forms, <laughs> right? I mean, you've got to love your friends. Yeah. Shouldn't we? We should. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who do you want to be in the future? Like, uh, what? What kind of person do you want to be in the oh. future? Not, not, a, not a programmer. I'm not asking okay. about major. Okay. Um... I want to be a, a funny guy. Okay. I just, I just want to laugh. <laughs> a guy, well, I, I want to be the guy that always laughs. Oh, nice. <laughs> that's, <laughs> because that's I already funny. do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay. And my friends say that I'm going to die from laughy, laughter. And that's good death, right? <laughs> 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 Isn't it? I mean, you're laughing and you die. That's... <laughs> That's the greatest <laughs> death, no? <laughs> okay, well, thank you. Thank you for participating okay. in MNB World Talk Show. Yes. Mm -hmm. And happy Children's Day to you. Be a good boy, be a good brother, be a good son. And a good friend. And a good friend, yes. And good boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you, Tirin Tawka. Okay. So this has been Tirin Tawak Narambathar, the guy who laughs all the time, funny guy, and who wants to become funny guy in the future. <laughs> okay, happy International Children's Day, Day to all of you. See you next week. Bye-bye.